Okay, in my previous video I showed how to set up Windows with the Windows on Raspberry Imager and uh, it works very well. Uh, mine wasn't working at the time and I thought it was something to do with my on-the-go adapter. I still think it is a bit dodgy, um, but both versions are working now. Uh, and so I'm trying the newer version in this video. And so first of all, I'll go in and overclock to get it running a bit faster. Okay, so if I go into Device Manager and Raspberry Pi configuration, CPU configuration, you can see that when it's on default, it uh, defaults to whatever I've put it in the config.txt. Uh, and I'll show you what the config.txt looks like. So this is how it comes as standard. Uh, so all the, uh, all the changes in there are what's applied by installing it by the method in my previous video. And I've added a few things. Uh, so I've added Force 1080. Uh, I've uh, changed the over voltage to 6 because I'm overclocking to 2147 and I had a tip uh, about changing the GPU mem to give better 3D support, not that there's going to be much 3D in the Windows videos um, but also I thought I'd try this KMS driver and see if it does anything uh, I'd read about it being rather than fake KMS it's some sort of display driver so let's see what happens so if I do escape, I haven't really changed anything here I thought I might have needed to change it but it, uh, it just took the overclock as standard. So you can see as it's starting up, it's got a low power warning, and that probably is because my on-the-go adapter doesn't really take enough ampage through it to supply the Pi. So here we are, here's the desktop, and you can see from the bottom here, the build is the 18362.19. Uh, so the, the more recent release of the two on the site. Got the network has come up, which is something that didn't come up in Zamfix's build but I did have it with um, Marsan's build. But uh, the thing about Marsan's build, it was much slower than Zamfix's. Uh, they, they just, they performed very differently. So network and internet settings. I have got a USB adapter, but I'm worried that when I plug it in, it will take too much power and just cut the power. So with my other on-the-go adapter, uh, hopefully that will alleviate that. Not connected. I'll try plugging in the Ethernet adapter at the end rather than get it that it cuts out Windows and have to wait for it to restart. But just let's go into the menus. So in the start menu you can see that it is a full build of Windows 10 and obviously these components want to be downloaded. Some of these are live tiles. Uh, so from a performance point of view, with our, we're still on one gig of RAM so we definitely don't want to do that. So we would be turning off the live tile. I don't know if that one's a live tile. Turn live tile off. I think that's probably it. So if I scroll down, you can see there's more on here than some of the other builds because obviously they were streamlining it to try and get better performance. And if I go into settings, system, I'm obviously going to speed up some of these bits because it is quite slow and just to make the video a bit more interesting. So about Although it's not, it's not running that bad actually, I didn't speed that bit up. Uh, so 2.15 gigahertz, RAM says 766, oh that's probably the change, yeah that's probably the change I made uh, to the config.txt, so it's taken some system RAM to put it on graphics, which probably isn't the right thing to do as I'm not going to do, well I'm unlikely to do anything 3D on here, you never know, there might be some games on the Windows Store if I can get to that bit, but I would say it's probably going to be too slow for that. So if we do control alt delete as well and get the task manager up. So again, you can see top right there that there's not really enough power. There are no running apps. Oh, that was just a bit, a bit slow starting up. We should have some more options here. Now here we go. So memory, 59%. So even though I've got less RAM, it's still not needing it at the moment. Well, I think Windows 10 is supposed to run on no less than a gig, or is it two? I think it's two gig actually. Memory disk CPU. See, the CPU is not being hit very hard, so let's start something. There's not an awful lot you can do uh, initially without, without things being updated. So if I start, I don't know if Photos has got anything in it. Well, something was very high then. Let's try and snap it. Oh. Wrong one. There you go. And keep that on the right. 
that's working all right. So there's no photos. So if I try the desktop and change the wallpaper and see if that does anything, you can see everything running on the is that performance. There we go. Doesn't seem to be done, doesn't seem to be running that bad really. You can see it's changing the desktop all right. Let's go with this dark one. Close that down. So let's try plugging some things in. So uh, if I plug in my USB stick and see, sometimes this cuts because it takes power. This is one of my uh, little Kingston USB adapters which uses tiny amounts of power. I've got a, a video on it because it, oh, it's a problem with this drawer. Oh, no, I don't need to scan that. Uh, because it, it actually works with my iPad with the USB adapter without any external power and that's the only USB I can get to work so I know it uses tiny amounts of power. So let's click on the folder. Oh, got it twice left. USB drive. So I've got an MP3 there. I've got my Game Boy Advance. I don't know if I did that video. I did use the Game Boy Advance adapter and I also put Half-Life on there. Uh, and it was the, whatever the free version of original Half-Life is, um, that worked, but incredibly slow. The Game Boy Advance, well, well, I need the controller for the Game Boy Advance. So what I need to do now is unplug. So I know I haven't got sound. So if I click down here, detecting problems. Okay, well in the other builds I didn't get any sound, so I'm going to just cancel that. And I'm going to unplug that USB stick and plug in my 99p sound card. I've got other videos on that. So that's lit up. You can see the audio comes up straight away. So if I now try and play an MP3, let's just turn on my speaker. Battery, 50%. Other builds I tried, this Groove Music didn't work, but I think people have probably uninstalled it. So I did install VLC on my last one, and that, that actually worked fine. So I'll try playing it with Windows Media Player. Uh, just go with recommended settings. Encountered a problem playing the file. No, it doesn't like it. That's funny, because I did get it to play before, but I did install VLC, so I'll do that in another video if I can get internet to work. So plugging in my Xbox 360 wired controller, is this going to cut the power? No, nope, looks like it's all right. Looks like I haven't got, <laughs> haven't got the emulator. Was that? Oh, okay. Let's leave that and let's see. I think I think I can um, show that the controller is working. Set up USB game controllers. Says it's okay. Properties. I think you get a little. Yeah. So I can do the right stick, left stick. Digital pad, all the buttons. Yeah, so all of that works fine, which you'd hope it would. That's good for Windows games and emulation and maybe some Windows Store games uh, when we get the internet running on it. So let's try plugging in. Uh, so I'll unplug the controller. Okay, so it did cut out. Uh, as soon as I plugged it in, uh, it just it just cut the pie straight off with the power. So I've left it plugged in and I've restarted. So at the moment I've got my on-the-go hub a little dongle for mouse and keyboard, and this uh, Ethernet adapter. US, it's got three USBs and an Ethernet on it. Unfortunately, it's not an on-the-go one, which would have been more ideal because because the uh, USB cable is very thick. Um, so it looks like it's it's designed for more power. Right. So let's see that it detects it first. Okay. So it's not recognizing my USB adapter, but maybe it just needs to do a few more restarts. Turns out that all it was, was uh, a restart was needed. So let's say yes to networks. Because it even on uh, booting up on the lock screen, it was showing me that it had an internet connection. Here we go, internet access. So let's go straight into Windows Store. Just gonna see if I can change it to a metered connection. Uh, because I know that on my iPad, if it's connected to my phone uh, via tethering, it chooses not to download updates and it and it uses minimal amounts of data so I'm pretty sure I read that Windows does the same thing uh, if you tell it it's a metered connection. There you go. 
If you have a limited data plan and want more control over data uses, make this connection a metered network. There you go. So hopefully with that, it will only be doing security updates and won't be trying to update all of those apps that were in here, all the ones with arrows and things, because there'll be loads of updates it needs to do. Okay, so it's loaded the store, but it took ages. So let's click on search. And we'll try VLC. It does not feature all the features of the classic VLC. So I reckon this will be the, um, the ARM one. Oh, so install. Do you have to, I don't know if you have to log in with the Microsoft account to be able to do this. Oh yeah, so I've got to sign in. So I am cutting out some of the processes because it is painfully slow. So don't think it's as snappy as it looks on screen. So acquiring license. Oh look, modified moments ago. So this is why part of the reason it's really slow is because it's it's been trying to do all these things. So maybe I do need to just leave it on. Although that would be better with the newer adapter that doesn't get quite so hot. Well, that doesn't feel that hot at the moment. It's weird, it's, it's, it's different times this on-the-go adapter gets quite hot to touch. Uh, but then other times like now, it's not that hot at all. I just checked because it was running so slow. I don't need to expand the drive. That's already done in this build, which is interesting to see. Uh, it picks up my NAS drive as well, which is interesting. Uh, so I think what I'm going to have to do is let it do some updates because it's running painfully slow. I don't think VLC has got there. I think it might have given up because uh, the network speed went to, to very little, even though there's nothing wrong with the network. So I think maybe several restarts might be uh, what's needed and just let it do some updates and, and just sort of uh, a bit of housekeeping as it, as it restarts. Windows does tend to like that. And I, and I always find that Windows never runs particularly well for, for the first bit. Uh, even on a normal computer, you find that things are a bit sluggish until it's applied enough of its updates and then it's just topping up. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.